All right, students, settle down. As the comic relief teacher who secretly yearns to be respected and still lives with his mother, I am pleased to announce that. <laughs> oh, who did that had a man to know? Sorry. <laughs> now, as you all know, we have some new students in our class. Okay, okay, that's enough. We need to focus. Now, let's get to it. First up, we have the Mini Giraffes! Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Next up, she put the Fab in Fabulous and the Nuh-Ah -uh in No You Didn't. Give it up for Meadow the Giraffe! This is not good. And finally, a giraffe who needs no introduction, but I will do so anyway, as saying his name is like eating cotton candy. I give you Lil G! Oh! So. Huh. You are all so magnificent. <clears throat> okay, everyone, take your seats. We have knowledge to dispense. As the fiercely independent one of the group who always speaks her mind, I have to tell you, I'm a little worried. Noted. What are you gonna do, Gigi? Think, think! She's fabulous and you're not. What's the big deal? Soon you'll just have to go back to podcasts and blogs and they'll never let you on YouTube ever again! Ugh. Unless... <laughs> This far, Gigi won't have any problems standing out from the crowd, and especially from cool giraffes. This unicorn diva is definitely taking charge with her very own fashion line. So candy. That's Gigi, and she is C-O-O-L. has her own YouTube show coming called Hanging with Meadow. Edo, 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 Edo. Hi! Ah! <laughs> wow, this guy is pretty cool. <gasps> Maybe we can combine our cools and create a super cool. Eh, that's ridiculous, Boris. Ridiculously awesome! All right, all right, all right. Welcome to our new giraffe friends. I 
wanted to organize this wonderful evening to pay tribute to you joining our school and our family. I'm also the organized one. First up, Finn! Hey, everybody! Okay, so why do giraffes have long necks? Anyone? Cause their feet smell! Okay, folks, well that just about wraps up tonight's show. <laughs> but, but I have more! Like, like, why did the giraffe cross the... Good night! I'm sorry! 97, 98, 99, 100! Done! Oh, come on! Done! Ah! First! Uh, I guess, I guess, I guess. <sighs> Beanie! Huh? What happened? School is over. You seem like you're having a hard time. It reminds me of when I was a young robot. Oh. As the janitor who tells stories and has a heart of gold, I feel slightly dissed. But I won't destroy you! Because it's a family show. Uh, I don't know, fam. I think it's time to admit that I'm not as cool as you all thought I once was. As the guy who has to learn his lesson at the end of every show, I have to say that I learned that maybe life isn't about being cool. It's just about being the coolest, and I'm not! <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Ah, I'm not crying, you're crying! <laughs> Can we, like, ask you a question? I'm sorry, your necks are beautiful and should never be used for humor! You're so much more fabulous than me! I mean, look at those spots! Come on, I can't compete with that! Uh, my cool act is just a facade. I'm really pretty dorky. I might not be the best at everything. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Well, that's all cool and stuff. But what we really wanted to know was, why don't you want to talk to us? Yeah, we were so excited to come here because we heard you guys were so nice. Then when you didn't want to talk to us and just kept staring, we realized what the real problem was. We're not cool. Aww. So, it's okay. If we aren't cool enough, then we totally understand. So, you think we're cool? For sure, Blue Dude. The way you guys are all friends despite your differences, your weird fantasy daydreams and stuff, <laughs> That's totally cool! Even moi? Especially you! Your whole candy thing and energy is out of this world! And your hair is awesome! <laughs> oh, you! <laughs> Go on. You mean, we can talk about your necks and you won't get upset? Yeah, of course we can! And it is mainly because our feet smell bad. So, I can do my other jokes? Not now, Finn. Alrighty then. And if we're friends, I'll always stick my neck out for you. It's what I do. It's literally my catchphrase. Come on, everybody. Banana cones at the shack on us. Today's episode taught us that we should never judge anyone by their exterior. That we should first ask questions before we think we know someone. And if we can just look at our similarities before our differences, the world would be a better place. For me to destroy! It's the Fingerling Show! Now here they are, Bella and Boris! 
We really need to be watching her candy intake. <laughs> yeah, you might have a point. Enjoy the show, folks! Hi, I I'm here for the audition. Oh, we're getting right to it? Okie dokie, let's do this! Oh, the drought, Paul. It's just been so dry. I'm afraid we can't afford to keep the farm. It is what I'd be saying if we didn't have the greatest crop of all time. <laughs> Listen up, people. We are dealing with the storm of the century here. We need to think fast and act faster if we're going to survive the beautiful warm weather. Crikey! The jungle is filled with so many precious creatures from Mother Nature herself. Makes you realize how amazing our planet really is. We'll just see about that, Miss Buttercup. You don't want to miss your train. <laughs> oh no, I need someone to come and save me. Help, help. I, I'm sorry. This whole damsel in distress thing just really isn't my thing. You're hired? <laughs> oh, poor fella. Here's a sneak peek at a brand new cartoon featuring... Boris! <laughs> Touché. Boris is what you might call a professional sleeper. Other and pull some pranks every now and again. But really, I love you, bro. Aww. Love you too, Bells. Behind you! What? What is it? What am I looking for? <laughs> what? What is it? What am I looking for? Come on, tell me. Tell me. Show me. What? <laughs> yeah, this what isn't going away here? anytime soon, kiddos. How Thanks for it? watching. Come on, tell me. <laughs> what is up, my dudes? I am Boris, and this is Dude School. Now, dude, more than a word, more than a state of mind, it's our friend. And as a friend, it will be there for you in a lot of ways. For instance, first, there is the nice to see you friend, dude! And let's not forget the, whoa, dude, dude. Then there's the, hey man, not cool. Uh, dude. And in our dance class, you'll learn to apply your dudeness even in arguing. Dude. 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 Dude? Dude! So let's dive in, dudes! Dudes? Dude. <sighs> Dude. Now, here they are! Bella and Boris! Hi, everyone! And thanks for coming back! I missed you! Yeah. 
you. It's the Fingerlings' birthday month, and you know what that means. Balloon animals! Nope. Aww. It means we get to do the best thing we can as friends, and that's make more friends! Meet the pandas! Enjoy the show, folks! It's time for Twirl Woodies! With me, your fitness guru, Gigi! What's up, class? Who's ready to work out? Like a unicorn! Yeah! yeah. Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay, let's start with a marshmallow bounce! And five, six, seven, eight, and bounce! And bounce! And bounce! And bounce on woo! Okay, now let's do the candy nom! Om nom nom nom! Om nom nom nom! Om nom nom nom! Candy! Om nom nom nom! Om nom nom nom! Om nom nom nom! Candy! to win an all-expense-paid trip to be in our studio audience. And we're here to pick the winner tonight. Gigi, hook him up! Alrighty, everyone! Let's see who the big winner is! <laughs> Looks like BFFs, Violet, and Hope! You just won yourselves a front row seat to this awesomeness! Get on over here! Come on! <laughs> uh, Gigi? They're still at home. this prize on behalf Jeez, of... no! It's all good! We'll let them know and they'll come in. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. Okay, okay. Enjoy the show, folks! Ladies and gentle monkeys, welcome back to another rousing edition of the Banana Shack Comedy Corner! Put your paws together for March the Sloth! Rock on! <laughs> Knock, 
Nah. <laughs> Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock. Knock. <laughs> Who's there? Knock. Knock. Banana. Welcome to the stage, Rob O'Sapien! Knock, knock. Who's there? Oil. Oil who? Oil destroy you! Ha ha! So a monkey walks into a park. Ha ha! It's the minis. They, uh, want you to watch their cartoon. Check back soon for the whole tale. It's funny. If you're into that sort of stuff. Ah, yes. And like most natural habitats, it comes with its own, um, <clears throat> uh, meet the minis. she keep doing this to us? I mean, does she actually think this is funny? I don't get it. <gasps> Banana! What kind of bear has no teeth? A gummy bear! <laughs> knock, knock! Who's there? Banana delivery! <laughs> 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 Seriously, I have bananas to destroy you! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Hey, Minnie Bella! Hey, Lulu! Boo! Oh, come on! Knock! Knock! Who's there? Orange juice! Orange juice, glad you didn't answer the door. I want my bananas. BFFs in the house. <laughs> Making of the greatest Fingerlings movie ever made. Like, ever. The documentary. Filmed over 28 months and cast with every superstar in the Fingerlings world, the film was set for commercial and critical success. Why is it so expensive? But despite concerns from studio head Finn McBigwig, production moved forward, casting their first lead role, that of Fingerlings star, Boris the Monkey. I'm in a movie, I'm in a movie, I'm in a movie! A veteran performer on the Fingerling Show, Boris was eager to spread his artistic wings. I guess, yeah, I was looking to show that I had a serious side. I get typecast a lot as the funny dude, the handsome lead, the love interest, stuff like that. I guess I just wanted the world to know there's a real actor behind all this leading man exterior. I'm in a movie, I'm in a movie, I'm in a movie! This city is mine, just like this sky, all mine. I'm their protector, their savior, their... Ah! Cut! Written, produced, and directed by Marge the Sloth, the film was an opportunity for the mammal to tell a deep and personal story. I like when stuff blows up. And... Action! 
I forgot my line. Who am I playing again? Cut! In a daring move, the studio agreed to cast the minis, an acting troupe notorious for causing trouble wherever they go. Listen to me. We are partners, and partners can't be stopped. We are one. You hear me? One. I love you, man. <laughs> now let's stop these bad guys. Well, I just read the part and immediately knew we had to stop doing our two monkey play and immediately commit. Oh, yes, very true. They did spend a lot of money, though, didn't they? Please, please, Marge! Can you please stop spending so much money? This movie is killing me! Yeah. No. But I'm the boss! Oh, man. Capitalizing on her immense popularity on social media, the studio hired mega personality Gigi the Unicorn in hopes of increasing box office success. Um, instead of answering your questions, do you mind if I plug my new cartoon? Well, I guess. Oh, goodness! Um, do we have a clip? Uh, you brought one, so... Yeah. Can I tell you a secret? Please. Okay, well. As production moved on, Marge doubled down on her wish to film the most expensive dance number ever made. Mainly because the Glitter Girls had very good lawyers. <laughs> Defying all expectations, Marge cast robotic action star, Robo Sapien. Come with me if you want to live, before I destroy you! I just really connected with the script. Um, does anyone know what this movie is about? <laughs> so much money! Unicornica, you won't stop me! Cat Raptor, my arch nemesis, you aren't going anywhere! Well, what are you going to do about it? Disclaimer, fingerling toys do not shoot real laser beams. Call it a success or failure. Call it the whim of people with too much money. <laughs> I never agreed to this! But if there is one thing to be said for Marge's greatest and only film ever made, it's that the power of dreams is still alive and well in the world of the fingerlings. That is, until... But that's a story for another time. Thank you for your service. Well, Bella, I was thinking we could learn a little bit more about our dual colored friends on this, a very special night for some very special fingerlings. Hello, and what's your name? <laughs> um, I don't understand that. Enjoy the two tone special, folks. I think we all learned a lot. <laughs> As you know, we are here tonight to honor our two-tone friends. You've all meant so much to us, and we just wanted to say thank you and pay tribute as you move on to your next great adventure. 
And in conclusion, that is why you remind me of a big swirly lollipop, Sydney, and you remind me of a pool of jelly beans, Eddie. You're both so sweet, colorful, and I just want to eat you up. You're so cute. <laughs> but really, what is friendship other than the oxygen that makes the plants grow? The water in a dry desert of loneliness. And you've done that for us, Sydney and Eddie. Thank you. Not cool, guys. Not cool. I thought they'd never leave. No kidding. Oh, hello. You know, a lot of people say to me, Gigi, it must be awesome living in a land made of candy. And you know what? It is. But the weather, uh, not so much. Here's a sneak peek. Good morning, everyone. I am Gigi the Unicorn, and you are watching Sparkle Heights Weather Report. That means with an onset of the Santa Banana winds, the smell of chocolate chip cookies will soon be in the air. Mmm, boy! Thanks for watching, everybody! If you're lucky, best friends! Now, let's meet our possible besties. Contestant number one, Amelia the Glitter Girl! Contestant number two is Tiny, cute, but packs a big punch. Let's give a warm welcome to Goldie the Mini! <laughs> and finally, contestant number three, Finn. Ladies and gentle dudes, Bella the Monkey! Welcome, Bella. Thank you. You've prepared questions, and now we're going to let you ask them. Good luck! Contestant number one, if you were a cloud, what shape would you be? That is so sweet! I never looked at it that way. <laughs> okay, contestant number two, same question. <laughs> so... Cloud, what shape would you be? Well, I'd say it would be yin and yang. Two complementary shapes, beautiful and soft, but only truly existing when we're together, like we would be as best friends. Okay, I guess. Huh? Contestant one, you sound so musical. As besties, what kind of music could we make together? I love that would be a blast! <laughs> uh, what's happening? You 
you know what that sound means. It's time for the last question, Bella. The floor is yours. Okay, um, so to close, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? And how would you use it to help others? Here we go. Power would you use to help others in need? Oh, 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 la, la, la. <clears throat> that is no joke. The most beautiful thing I have ever heard in my life. We'll be right back after the break, folks. Stay tuned for more Bestie matchups. And now we have a real treat. A sneak peek of our new cartoon, Meet Marge! What's up? She's, um, she's a sloth. We need to figure out who the new fingerling is. This is getting ridiculous. No offense. I want to be your best friend. Oh, that's very nice of you. But what do you... I want to be your best friend. Please? Oh, dudes. We should say something? Never mind. Why won't you love me? I guess what I really want to say is that I am sorry. Okay. Sorry that I did not destroy us so Dudes, we really need a coordinator. Stay tuned for more Who Wants to Be a Fingerling? Hey, everyone! Here's a sneak peek of a new fingerling's tail! And make sure 
here to come back! For the whole shebang! Enjoy the clip! I'm okay. And what are you doing today? Bouncing. And why is that? Oh, you're trying to set the world record for the most jumps in a single day? Nope. I'm gonna break it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Anything to add, Marge? Hey, every... DJ Boris, play us out of here! Thanks for coming back, everyone! And make sure to like and subscribe below for more Fingerlings fun! Trust me, there's a lot more where that came from. Shh, Polly, spoiler alert, let's not ruin the surprise. See you next time.